Hello, I am so excited to finally be on YouTube. I have wanted to have my own YouTube channel for a really, really long time. So I'm really excited to be here and I thought best possible first video would be about my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm just gonna jump right into that. All right, first thing I'm going to do is obviously pull back my hair. So I'm gonna use this little hair tie that I think I got from Ulta. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my makeup off. The best way to remove makeup in the most gentle way possible with your skin is by using a makeup remover cleanser. So I'm just going to jump right ahead and do that. All right, my skin is a little bit damp, as you can see. I wanted to show you guys uh, what the consistency of this was like. Cleansers, you don't really need very much. You just need a little bit. A little goes a long way. So I'm just going to go ahead and work it in. The best possible way to cleanse your skin, especially of makeup, is by using circular motions and get into the places that have a little bit more makeup that you need to get out. And you can see like the consistency, you can see it's a little bit tan, so it's picking up my makeup, it's breaking it down, and it's turned into kind of that milky consistency. And I think I'm ready to wash it off. Now I have just taken my makeup off. I have prepared a clean slate for the rest of my makeup routine. So now I'm actually going to get in there and cleanse my actual skin and really focus on doing that. My favorite cleanser right now is the Acure Ultra Hydrating Green Juice Cleanser. I love this brand and I love this particular product and this product line. They've got a cleanser and a moisturizer that I really love in particular. It's very simple, it's very basic, um, but it really helps to hydrate your skin. Surface dehydration is not something that you want because then it's gonna trap oil underneath and cause breakouts and it's also going to hinder your skin from being able to function and heal itself properly. All right, so I've got my skin a little bit damp, and now I'm gonna go in with the cleanser, go in with about this much, and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did earlier, just circular motions. I found it really interesting when I learned that massage, you'd think stretches out your skin and causes you know damage or premature aging, but it actually, when you massage, actually tones the muscles in your face, so it actually looks makes your skin look younger. So when you're cleansing and you're doing, you know, your circular motions and maybe even getting my fingers in here in the areas that can get a little bit congested uh, and around here too, because I can have some blackheads. Um, make sure that you're also, you know, just giving your skin a nice little massage. It, it never hurts and it actually helps to tone those muscles in your face. All right, now that I did my double cleanse, I'm now going to go in with one of my favorite products I've discovered, which is a glycolic acid toner. Glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant, so there's physical exfoliant, which is you know using a brush like this, and then there's chemical, which is alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acids like um, glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid. So I'm gonna go in now with my glycolic. Uh, glycolics are really common. Uh, chemical exfoliant but what I like about this is that it really makes my skin look glowy and it just strips my skin of any you know dead skin cells that make my skin look dull and it sends a signal to your body to produce another layer of skin cells so your skin is always looking refreshed and young and glowy when you exfoliate on a regular basis now I'm going to go in with my, this is a facial oil that my friend actually created for me. It's a combination of rosehip oil, patchouli, lavender, and I think a couple other oils that are really good for your skin. You need to make sure that the oils that are in your products and that you're putting on your skin are number one, uh, non-comedogenic, so they don't clog your pores, and that they also are good for your particular skin type. If you've got oily skin, using a facial oil might not be as beneficial for you. So I like to use a facial oil, just a couple drops, just gonna apply a little bit of that. A little bit on my my neck as well. All right, now I am going to go in with a facial tool. Um, this tool was given to me. This uh, The top part here is a red LED light. I'm gonna turn it on. And while I've got this facial oil on, I'm just gonna kinda go over. But red helps to stimulate collagen production in the skin. And collagen is what is in your skin that gives it that plump young look. Over time our collagen breaks down, especially when we're um, in the sun without SPF, and that's what then creates the fine lines and wrinkles. Using an LED light regularly, a red one, is really great to help 
keep your collagen production stimulated so that your skin looks glowy and young. Now that I'm done with my LED little mini treatment, I am going to go in with my nighttime moisturizer. This is uh, the Wellida from Wellida Skin Food. I have different moisturizers for the night and for the daytime because they do different things. Um, when I'm out in the day, I'm outside or sitting at home, lights coming in through the windows, and I need to put on SPF to protect my skin. At night, my skin is healing and rejuvenating itself. So I wanna make sure, especially with my skin type, which is dry combo, I wanna make sure that my moisture is being locked in as well as the rest of my products. So for uh, nighttime, when my skin is rejuvenating and healing itself, I'm going to be using a heavier moisturizer that's a lot thicker than what I would use during the day. I think that for everyone you should be using a thicker moisturizer at night to help to lock in your skin's moisture and the products that you've applied to it. This is a product that my skin really, really likes and has responded to really well. Um, I always wake up feeling super dewy and glowy and plump and nourished. And that is always a feeling that you want in your skin is that your skin is nourished and hydrated and moisturized. All right, this is the finished look. Um, I always say this and there's always jokes made in the beauty community that you go to bed looking like a glazed donut, which I always do because of this moisturizer and these oils on my skin. But I always wake up feeling really nourished and really hydrated, which is always a feeling that you're going to want in your skin. Um, so if you guys want to, if you guys know me from Instagram, great, keep on following along. If you don't, my Instagram handle again is Skin with Hannah. I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips and tricks, just everything related to beauty, everything related to skincare I will be talking about on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.